everyone, this is Bob from TrueOnlineRiches.com and this is the review of Graphic Design Studio by Summit Soft, which is a design software for people who are looking uh, to do banners and web buttons and stuff like that. And this is how it'll look like when you first open it up and you are presented with uh, basic templates, actually pre-made templates for you. As you can see, you, you have some free templates here and different other options like banner, banners print and banners web. This is what I use a lot. Uh, fun drawings, illustrations, postcards, posters, signs and web buttons. And if you are someone who have a couple or a few websites and need to do on the, the graphic design needs all the time, this software is perfect for you. That's pretty much what I use this software for. And for this illustration purpose, I'm going to use web banners or banners web as it says here. And you can either select one of these and go to the software interface like that. Or you can click blank project. And if you have some other projects which are already made, you can go and open it that way. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this particular template here. That I am assuming that you're fairly new to the software or you are going to buy the software and you want to see how to use the interface here. So I'm going to click on this pre-made template and we'll make some changes and I'll take you through a rundown on the software interface. All right, so this is how it'll look like when you click on a pre-made template and I'll close these things for you really quick here. Okay, so let's go through the user interface here. It is pretty much a basic interface like you will see on any graphic editing software and this is perfect for beginners. I should say that because I started using this and I just cannot stop using it for almost all my web needs like I create banners and I create buttons and you know Pinterest pins and almost all kind of so social graphic needs or social media graphic needs I should say. Alright so this is how it'll look like when you first um, get into the interface and uh, you have the basic tabs here home button insert color selections and editings there and effects canvas and view so the first thing i would like to show you is the view i'll start from there because uh these are this is the selection where you will first start using to select all these um free templates or objects you use to make all these graphic designs so um if you ever accidentally close one of these and delete it from that section this is where you will go you'll go to view and then click on objects and it'll appear there and you can um, use all these from these selections like free objects alphabet art you have a ton and tons and tons and tons of you know free objects and uh, selections you can go for um, to make use of your creative ideas or creative mind you have so these are all the buttons and uh, when you double click it it'll appear here I'm not gonna go do that right now because I'm gonna show you how to make a, a basic banner or some editing on this one so I'll keep that there so yeah pretty much these are all the objects you have and if you want to go for some taglines there are a ton of taglines that are pre-made for you so I'll close that one or pin it back to uh, the side there okay so this that's that and to your right hand side you have advanced tools and layers so I'll get to that in a bit and I'll go to home uh, selection there and at any point if you want to start a new design click on new and it'll come up as you have seen when I clicked open this software for the first time so I'll close that one for you and yeah and you have all the basic selections here like cut copy paste and undo and all those stuff lock hide and zoom options and all the basic things you can do over here and when you move to the insert tab you have the basic shapes like rectangle ellipse and all those things you can use to make a banner or a graphic and uh, to upload a picture you click on picture there and basic other basic tools over here and this is the color um, editing section which we'll get in, get into in a bit and effects are kind of confined to utter glow drop shadow bevel blur and emboss but this is pretty much all you need to make a really nice looking banner and this is the canvas area 
oh I forgot to tell you this is the canvas area here this is the selected canvas and you can add canvas here as well and you can go through uh, I mean switch between different canvases if you have multiple projects at one time and to remove a canvas you just select what whatever canvas you want to remove and click remove and do you really want to remove yes I would like to and that is removed and this is the color of the uh, canvas background and you can change all the opacity there and if you want to upload an image to be a background to be the background of that canvas you can do it here browse it and um, input it that way and this is the canvas size the dimensions I guess uh, width and height if you want it in the landscape mode you can do that and if you want to make it in a, as a transparent background this is how you will do that and I've already told you what the view section is alright so now let's go ahead and make some changes to this basic banner we have here alright so at any point if you want to zoom in or zoom out of the the canvas area here you can use the scroll button on your mouse to zoom in or zoom out and you can also use the zoom um, the lens option here zoom in or zoom out um, this one here you can click that one to do that or you can use the control plus or control minus key combinations to do that in your keyboard alright so to make an edit on any selection here or any components here you just have to select it like this particular banner here what we see here is made out of different components like you have a line here and you have a sentence here and another one and the rectangle shape and the uh, selection here so at any point you can click select and move all these things around and this is a different picture if you can see you can move that as well according to your liking and this color you see here is the canvas the basic canvas area and the basic canvas color so first of all what I like to do is to undo that or maybe I'll move this uh, image here as it was before and I'd like to change this color um, I don't like that dark color so what I'll do is I'll kinda select that this is the background color right so I'll go to canvas and select the color and I'll go to maybe this one to make it a little lighter um, and then I would like to change this message here to do that you can double click this one and this small pop-up window will appear and you can make the changes here so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and type in this line here I've already cop I just copied and pasted I already had it for uh, this purpose here so actually this is um, I, I have my affiliate link in the description if you want to buy this software you can go ahead and use my link I'll really appreciate that it won't cost you any extra money and that'll help me as well so just click that and change that sentence we just changed that and now I'd like to change the color so just add, we have the selection on that sentence so go to color and drop get the drop down menu for color and click that color so I, I'll just keep that for this demonstration and I'll go ahead and give it a little different effects maybe not that one and you can change the effects here this is the um, drop shadow effect I'll decrease the softness and change the depth a little bit yeah that looks good and next what I'll do is I'll do the same to change the this sentence here which says call to action I'll double click on that select that and I'll go ahead and copy paste what I have already here I'll paste this one click OK and and if you buy through my link I can give you a coupon as well which will save you 20% off whatever price they have on their website so that'll be a cool thing for you to do as well and I'll like to change the color maybe I'll keep the color the same and I'll go to effects give it a different oh maybe maybe I'll go change the color to green and I'll go to effects and go to oh maybe not 
maybe I'll give the color glow size a little down. This is only for, um, you know, a demonstration purposes. If, it, if I was doing this for our um, website or something, I'll take my time and refine it really good. Maybe I'll just leave it at that for now. And now what I would like to show you guys is how you can use the advanced tools at any for any selection here. So right now I have this one selected. So if I need to make it a little bolder, I'll click that and position it back to where I would like it to stay. So I'll keep it there. And if, if I want to change the phone size, that's where I'll do that as well. Maybe I'll go to 22 or maybe 20 or maybe I'll just take it back to 18 yeah that's that looks really nice there and for the click here button I'll just leave it like that maybe I'll make it a little bolder um, oh, I just selected this rectangle this is another thing you'll have to look for you have to select the correct place where you want to make the changes so if you want to make the changes to the sentence for to the letters here you'll have to double click to change it and to make uh, additional effects you can click that and go to advanced tool I'll make it bolder um, and I'll go to effects effects to give it a little drop shadow click there and minimize the softness and bring it a little closer yeah so that's pretty much how I would like this banner to be and you can use it anywhere on the web or your Facebook page or whatever use you have with that banner so that's pretty much it with the graphic design studio by summit soft this is a great software and also if you don't know they have another software called logo design studio pro vector edition which I also have and I use that in a lot of um, you know ways to make my social media promotions and stuff like that with my YouTube channel and my other websites so if you want to take a look I'll leave that link below as well and like I mentioned before if you use my link that's my affiliate link you it would not cost any more from your side and as well you can use my coupon code to get a 20% off as well so yeah that's pretty much it guys I'll see you in the next video bye